guys. This is Lynn again with Little Fur Nursery. Um, I am here with um, baby Michael. He is the full body silicone baby Ethan by Andrew Arcello. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. That's my baby boy. <laughs> this is a portrait baby of my son for those of you guys who are new to my channel or haven't seen this baby before. So um, I, I got him, um, gosh, a couple months ago. Yeah, it was before the Rose Doll Show. And um, I actually have a twin to him coming home as well, who will be poured actually even a little bit softer than him. Um, but yeah, I'm so I'm so excited. And I wanted to um, share, because I, I think I shared in one of my videos that there were a couple ladies who had to sell their spots. Um, I believe that both of the spots have been sold. So he is once again sold out and uh, not available. Um, oh. I am trying to figure out what's going on here with this. Uh... Oh, okay. There, I, I was trying to unbutton this button. I, I wanted to change him into this romper, but there's something weird going on back here with um, it. It's like the back of an applique, so I, I figured out it's it's meant to just stay there. Anyway, um, so yeah, I wanted to um, actually answer a question that came up in one of my comments. And um, this was somebody who I guess is looking to buy her first doll and she doesn't really know whether to go for an open-eyed baby or a closed-eyed baby and um, and having trouble deciding and this this has been endlessly debated it is such a personal preference for each person and I think everybody feels differently about it you know it's it's not um, yeah it, it is definitely not like a one right way to do it or one right way to go about it or anything, anything like that. So I, yeah, but since I'm, I have this boy in my video, you can see that I, um, actually, I generally speaking prefer open eyed babies. I'll tell you why. Like for me, um, what I really love about open eyed babies is they're, they look at you, you know, you, you can see their expression, they feel, they feel alive and they feel like, it just feels like a more interactive experience, I guess, even though they're not, you know, they're not moving or talking, but it feels like they're about to move or talk, which is, or coo or, or something, <laughs> which is really cute and really cool. So, oh my goodness, this baby boy is so cute. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so generally speaking, I, I feel like I bond more deeply with open-eyed babies because, you know, they're looking at me and I think a lot of that bond comes with eye contact, at least for me. But I know a lot of collectors who strongly prefer sleepers a lot, you know, and I think um, what people like about sleepers is the realism because, you know, if a baby is, you know, lying there and not moving, that's very realistic if the baby's asleep. But um, if the baby is you know, awake and doing that, it's, it's a little weird. <laughs> the baby's just sitting there not moving. So I totally get that, you know, from a realism perspective. Um, so yeah, so that was something that, um, yeah, I was, I was kind of thinking, thinking about like, you know, in terms of some of the pros and cons, I think it's, I think it really comes down to like realism. There's something also like with, um, sleeping babies, it's relaxing when they're sleeping and you're just holding them. Cause I have so many great memories of holding my own babies when, when they were newborns and just, you know, they would be sleeping on my chest or, um, just lot, you know, falling asleep in my arms. It was just like the best feeling. This, um, romper is like a little bit on the smaller side for him. I almost debated like not <laughs> finishing changing him, but it'll fit. It's just, um, he's a chubby boy. So <laughs> there's not like, yeah, yeah, no, it's, it, it'll fit. It's just kind of just with the, sometimes putting, um, the outfit on around the arms can be a little bit tricky. So, okay, there you go. <laughs> this is so cute on him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so adorable. Um, okay. I'm trying to think about other 
ways to decide. I mean, I think it comes down to the sculpt too. Like there are so many, like Levi is one of my all time favorite sculpts and that's a sleeping baby. I really love the new Charlotte. I think, I think what it is, I'm trying to think about this. I feel like for a smaller baby, like I really, I do really like sleepers for if they're, if they're, if they're really small, like preemie newborn size. Although I do love my baby Lynn. So take, have to take that back <laughs> right away. Um, and then if they're a little bit bigger, like more like a zero to three month or three to six month, I definitely, definitely prefer a wake. It's just, yeah, like when babies are really, really newborn, they, they don't really, oh my gosh, look at this boy. I cannot take it. <laughs> oh my gosh. We, you guys, we are so lucky to be in this hobby. Like, I feel like so many people don't even know about these dolls. Like, and, and just like fun, fun fact, the lady who is adopting or took over the spot from Nicole, um, it's, this is like, she just bought her very first reborn. She never had a reborn of silicone prior to this. And this will be her first uh, silicone. So she had messaged me asking me questions like, is he full body or does he have a cloth body? And um, just not really, un like a lot of basic questions, like kind of not really understanding how this works. And um, so I was just kind of answering her questions and explaining it to her. But, you know, it is so like, she's in for a treat because you know this is like literally this is one of the nicest silicone babies i've ever i've ever seen so and um and and she loves like collecting boy babies and she's also asian herself so there are not very many i i don't even remember another full body silicone asian baby boy that i can i can remember in recent years i'm sure now that I said that there, there are, I'm sure there are some, but you know, maybe just none that I've been aware of. So, but I know it's not very common. I think in general, um, girls are more common than boys, um, in this hobby, like in terms of, uh, especially in silicone, I feel like I don't see as many boys, but I think because like people, a lot of people enjoy the girl, baby girl clothing. So, but this is really, really cute. And this, um, romper is by Le Weekend a la mer or something like that weekend a la mer and it's from children's salon so just in case any of you guys were curious and wanted to know where to get it so um yeah but i uh and i apologize i'm so like all over the place i i, I was at disneyland today and uh got back and got back kind of late and real but you know realized I, I needed to make my videos for the week so um yeah so anyway yeah, so I was thinking about just, you know, the fact that, like, you know, she went from, like, kind of zero to a hundred. Like, you know, some people will get a Paradise Galleries or Ashton Drake doll and then kind of work their way up to the more expensive babies. But she's, like, just going for it, like, just getting. And, and I th I feel like if you have the money, why not? Why not get the, the, the best of the best, the ultimate dream baby for you um, if you do have the financial means to do it, you know, rather than settling for something that is not quite what you wanted, like not your ideal of what you wanted, and then constantly searching and hunting for the next best thing. You know, if you can afford to, then great. I remember the very first Reborn I fell in love with on eBay was the Lotus sculpt painted by Helen Jelland. I still really think that baby's adorable. And um, I that was the very first time I ever saw a Reborn. Um, I was just floored <laughs> by the photos. And I followed that auction and I didn't really think seriously about bidding on the auction, but I was fascinated by how realistic this baby looked. And then the baby ended up selling for like $5,500, I remember. And this is for a reborn back, you know, like a decade ago. <laughs> and, um, but yeah, so that kind of like piqued my curiosity about the hobby. And I started like watching other auctions. And, and then that's when, that's when I, I ended up spending about 900 on my first reborn. And it was a buy it now on eBay by, um, it was a Lotus by Jacqueline, Ca Jacqueline Cassidy. And, um, she was very beautifully done. I just, um, at one point when I got my silicone babies, my two portraits, um, of Audrey, the Emery May and Melina, I got rid of all my reborns at that time and we were moving and all of that. So, um, I, I didn't think I would get back into reborns again, but obviously that's, um, uh, that's wrong. <laughs> so, cause I still collect reborns and silicones, but 
but yeah, I, I love this little guy, but yeah, I, I've, I've kind of digressed, um, from the original topic, but cause I was just chatting about open and closed eye babies, but, um, but yeah, but also like kind of curious what you guys think, you know, did you guys work your way up in the hobby or, um, or did you just kind of go for it and get like the absolute best doll you could, you could afford, um, which I think can be a little bit scary to do because it's a lot of money. And you know, when you're still, when you're still new and trying to figure things out, it can be a little intimidating, but you know, that's what we're all here for. You know, I think, uh, you know, everyone's happy to answer questions and do your homework, watch YouTube videos, go on Facebook, do your research, go on Dolphin, read form posts. Um, it's the best way to learn. So anyway, guys, so baby Michael's going to say bye to his aunties. And I think I'm going to, I need some cuddle time with this little guy. So we're going to go head over and watch some TV. All right, guys, I will see you later. Bye.